Hi friends, my name is Rohan Vasudev. In this session, we are going to create an example for rigid body. For the demonstration purpose, we are going to create a 3D game object which is going to be sphere and we are going to apply rigid body to the sphere basically. Okay, so let's start with creating a floor which will be your 3D game object which is plain. So for that purpose, go to game object, go to 3D object and select plane here. Okay, right now the plane is not visible on the camera. To do that, just reset the transform value for the plane. Okay, and yes, it is visible in the camera. Again, let's create a 3D game object, which is sphere. So go to game object, go to 3D object and select sphere here. Again, reset the transform for the sphere here. Okay, go to scene mode here and slightly bring the sphere above the ground okay so this is how it should look so the sphere basically stays floating in the air right now we have not applied any rigid body to the sphere so let's stop running the scene and let's apply the rigid body to the sphere now click on add component go to rigid body here and yes the rigid body component is attached to the sphere game object here let's run the scene again and let's see the output here okay the sphere now falls on the floor let's understand the properties for the rigid body one by one okay let's stop running the scene here so mass here basically is the mass for the sphere it is right now set to one drag is the air resistance value applied to the sphere game object angular drag is the air resistance value again applied to the game object that will affect the rotation of the sphere okay use gravity here is the gravitational force applied to the sphere game object so if we check the checkbox here or if we check the use gravity to true here that means that the gravitational force is applied here to the sphere game object let's uncheck the use gravity here and let's run the scene again since we have have set the use gravity property here to falls now it does not fall on the floor let's set the use gravity property to true again and the sphere will fall on the plane game object okay let's stop running the scene again is kinematic property here basically will define whether the physics engine will affect the game object or not let's set it to true here and let's run the scene again so by setting is kinematic to true here, the sphere basically is not affected by the physics engine anymore. Okay, let's uncheck the property and the sphere will fall on the floor again. Collision detection is basically the type of detection okay that will act upon on the sphere there are four options discrete continuous continuous dynamic and continuous speculative then we have interpolate interpolate is basically it smoothens the moment of the game object right now it is set to none we have two options here interpolate and extrapolate we will understand this or we'll learn more about this in the upcoming sessions okay constraints property here is basically used to freeze the position or rotation of the game object on x y or z axis let's check y axis here and let's see if the sphere falls on the floor or not okay the sphere does not fall on the floor it is again floating in the air let's uncheck the y axis here and yes the sphere falls again on the floor so this is how rigid body works on any 3d game object so that's it guys thank you for the session in the next session we'll see an example on how to move the sphere using a rigid body component thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next session thank you so much